Oh my god, my eye. Uh, hi everyone, TV with an IV view today! So, today's topic is something that you have been asking for for a while. Um, ever since I started doing like videos on Instagram, in, in Insta, Insta, Instagram, uh, people DM'd me and asked how I colored my things, even when I did this. And this looks like you shit. So, yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna share a few tips or on things that you can actually do to help out. But the first thing I'm gonna say is if you never like studied color, what's there? What's this? What's I need to cut my hair. Like what's what's happening here? I don't know. Okay, bye. If you never studied color, please do. I I haven't picked up a book about color in probably so I'm 25 right now, so probably seven to eight years. But the thing is, I studied visual arts, so yeah, it's kind of there now. You need to know the bases, and you can't really get them without at least looking up a few like color wheels and stuff like that because color has a reason to exist in your piece and that's something I cannot like I don't know, use the red uh, for for really eye angry um, mm, uh, mm, things that's not how things work. If you really want to be good with color, please study it. And yeah, there's a lot of places you can study it for free. Google has a lot of sources where you can find really easily at least the bases. And oh my god, I burped. Mm, and I puked a little. Not fun. N not not fun. But yeah, like I was saying, um, you can Google almost anything now and find whatever you're searching for so please look up what color means how to put colors together and all that so you can actually get better and this is the video goodbye bye no i'm kidding i have a few things that you can use to help you out uh, one of them is Adobe Color. Adobe Color is a really cool website. Um, I saw on their live uh, for um, the um, the release of the new products. I'm I can't really get the name right now. Wow, Adobe Max. Jesus, and uh, they had it implemented into Photoshop 2020. I have been trying to find it. On the program I haven't really looked up where it is but yeah I can't really find it but it's there like th the same things you can do in Adobe color the website uh, you supposedly can do it on the program and I, I can't really find it anywhere so please help me um, okay yeah that's one thing <laughs> you can use and it's really helpful if you want to do like color schemes from let's say one thing I do a lot is to go to like I don't know, like art station, or if I'm seeing like an, an uh, I don't know, a movie, an anime, something like that, and I really like the color scheme of that scene on that movie or series or wherever that you are watching, I usually like to take a print screen and put it over onto Adobe Color, and the website gives you like g gives gives you, that's a mix of gives you and ga gave you, so. English for you but yeah you put the print screen there and then the website gives you a color scheme that you can actually upload to your uh, Adobe library so there is that okay my second tip is one I've used before in videos so probably you guys already know that is the color well <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait, let me open Adobe Photoshop right now because I don't even remember the name of the, the thing. By the way, um, today I'm using this thing that I've shown you probably like 300 times by now. Uh, oh shit, I almost broke it. Yeah, it. I didn't, it's really resistant and shit and all that. Um, yeah, let me put this on my second monitor and that's uh, creating a new file right freaking quick so I can find, okay. So, the second tip <laughs> is the Adobe Color Theme. That's a plugin that comes with your Adobe tw uh, Photoshop 2020. Why am I saying Adobe so much? Oh, what? I'm famous. The plugin that's already on Photoshop. I don't know if this makes sense in the cut, but sorry, 
I forgot what, what I was saying. Yeah, there's that. Um, the plugin I'm talking about is called Adobe Color Theme, and it's under, um, I don't know, let's see, uh, Window, Extensions, Adobe Color Theme. Yeah, there you can actually create color schemes. So instead of going onto Adobe Color, you can go here and create your own color scheme and you can select like the format for your color scheme so you can select like monochromatic or um, complementary or triads or whatever 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 yeah it's a really easy tool to use i touched the the tablet thing um yeah it's a really cool tool to use it's very easy and it's on on your program so enjoy the things you already have another thing that I like to do and this is more for beginners why am I speaking with this thing in my hand like I'm a painter am I now Leonardo da Vinci not really though one thing I would say for you guys that are starting out like I was and I still am kind of start with monochromatic pieces that really helped me uh, with working with values the most like if a piece doesn't really have a lot of color you can create basing 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 focusing on the values of your piece and that's a really important thing for a good composition so if you are a beginner to color to like um, go to Adobe color theme and do a complementary color scheme and use the complementary color to the main color you are using on your piece as like little de de fuck me words today are really hard to say little details and you can go further and further with practice like okay so let's say you're creating a night scene and it's mostly blue then you can probably do like a really warm light for the piece and it will look good but it's a really simple thing to incorporate two colors and then you can move to putting like I don't know like more variations of the complementary colors in your next piece and then you move forward and forward and forward until you can just do it by head there's that sometimes it's it's messy sometimes you have and this is where my third tip comes in you uh, sometimes you do a color scheme you think oh my god this looks amazing this looks amazing and then it doesn't <laughs> and you look to like at your piece and think oh shit i messed up a lot like these two colors are sh like really fighting each other they really don't go together the saturations are not there and then I would fix it on camera raw you can go over to camera raw and then under the HSL uh, sliders that you are given or uh, under the wait 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 well let me check let me check because I'm dumb I really didn't prepare for this video sorry or you can go to calibration it's the second to last tab on the camera raw um, interface and you can like change the sliders a bit and you will see that like the first slider will move the reds the second one will move the gr yellow greens hmm, greens and the third one will move the blues and then you can adjust saturations you can adjust the colors <laughs> yeah it's a really cool thing to do minute adjustments to your piece if you really are not feeling it so there's also that and another cool thing tool it's not really a tip but it's a great tool that people sometimes are scared of is um the selective color selection color uh it's a really cool way to play with color like that's the thing i think most people are afraid of if you know the basics about color co about color you will be able to play with it so learn the basics like i said at the beginning of this video and then go over and use a selective color adjustment layer and play around like eventually you will get the knowledge by doing it over and over and over and over so that's how i did it and i i'm not the best at it but i'm i'm decent um with color but yeah my biggest advice for you guys is to start small 
don't go like overboard with a rainbow color scheme because Jesus, that's hard to work with. Um, go monochromatic, try out, like do black and white and then try to put color in and then move through making a two color piece and go slowly. This isn't the thing you will learn just like from night to day. It, it's not. It, you need to work hard and practice a lot. Don't forget to check out King of the Throne every Wednesday on my YouTube channel and vote on my Instagram. And there's that. Uh, next week's... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh. <clears throat> I almost forgot about that. So, like I said on my last King of the Throne, uh, I was going to announce who won the thing. The damn thing for the week and the votes were let me check because I completely forgot I said I was going to say to, to take shit okay so for the king of the week out of 397 votes we got 164 for my peas thank you guys so it's clear we won um, and then we got 90 votes for Aaron's piece and then um ninth venom got 64 votes and this was really funny to me while it was happening because you guys are messy you guys are really messy so out of 397 votes 79 of you thought it was funny to vote for roscoe yeah <laughs> like what the fuck is that I'm the king to beat for next week's video, so you guys did that. I, I'm really grateful you liked it. And yeah, next week's video is with... I'm trying to find his name. Next week's challenger is Camilo Polanco. That's how you say it. It's not, but okay, who cares? Uh, this is his e e e Instagram. You can see it right meow here. Look, it's an Instagram. Oh, wow, you can't really see it. Wow. This, oh, you can now. I'm bound to lose this one, but okay, whatever. Nobody cares. The next theme is Apocalypse. So the challenge is we both have a uh, stock, the same image, and we have to destroy it in an apocalyptic way whatever it is so i have my concept already in the goes he has his concept already in the goes so stay tuned for wednesday and watch that because jesus christ i'm gonna lose fuck <laughs> but yeah other than that enjoy the speed edit right after this look at those oh my god mm -hmm. yes um, yeah, enjoy the speed edit and leave a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you want to do it and see you on the next one. I'm completely blown out. What did I do with this camera? Jesus Christ. Okay, bye. Bye.
Me with 